In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Cisco Network Academy course uh, for your students to log into. So go ahead and log into your account, and uh, you should have a Teach button. Once you see that Teach button, hit Create a Course. Select your institution, and then create a course name. This is going to be a test course, and we're just going to make up a number. Select the NetAcad course if you're doing Cisco 1, it's Introduction to Networks. If you're doing Cisco 2, it's Routing and Switching Essentials. I'm going to make this one a Cisco 1 class. Select English, and then the time that the class is going to run through. Um, so we're going to do today through, let's say, October 25th. Make sure you show up as an instructor here, and then hit Save. Once you hit save, your course will be populated. If you try to go directly into your course, it's not quite done yet. It's still um, going through some of the automated setup. Um, so what it's doing on the back end right now is it's adding all of your assignments and your quizzes that Cisco requires for the class. And it's actually kind of nice because once that's done, it'll pre-populate the modules for you. Go ahead and hit publish. Um, if you don't hit publish, uh, your students won't be able to see it when they log in. Uh, and I don't know if it'll actually allow you to assign students if it's unpublished. So again, give it a few minutes. Uh, I see the quizzes have come online, so it should be a few more seconds before the rest of it does. Okay, the quizzes are there, and the modules are now there. So it's pre-populated all the modules. I actually delete... Um, this first module, and I changed that to um, course resources, and this is where I put the packet tracer information, and I can show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, so that's pretty much it on creating the course. Uh, one thing that you do have to do for the tests, where's the test assignments? Uh, you do have to click on each test and um, give it an assignment date. Uh, so I cannot do that in the test class. Let me get out of my test class and go into my real class. So again, you do have to activate the tests uh, for your students. If they try and get in, it'll say the instructor has not activated this exam, and then you'll get an angry email. So once uh, your students are enrolled, then you can create a default activation, um, or you can create advanced activation. I typically do the advanced activation because it allows you to get a little more granular with your, your controls. So select the start date and the end time and then uh, the actual time of day you want it to close so typically mine close on Sunday at midnight and then the maximum number of attempts so if you want them to be able to retake it uh, you can set that here and then if you want them to be able to retake it as many times without um, contacting you uncheck this box here otherwise they can attempt it and then, even though you said it's allowed 10 times, they have to email you and you have to come in and re-enable it for that student uh, if that box stays checked. And then you have to select one of these. Um, I always choose this assessment will be administered in a less secure environment and teamwork access or learning will be permitted just because this is an online class and I can't really ensure that they're not going to be um, using their books. So once you've done that, create the advanced activation and it will assign it to all of your students in the class. And that's pretty much all you need to know about getting the course set up. Um, I'll do another quick little video on how to create the assignments and using the grading program.